You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. What's up? What's up, you guys? Girl feel a little fancy when she see y'all on YouTube rocking like nails and stuff. So, hello. A girl pop these on with some crazy glue. And if you see them pop off or fall off in the video, just know that this is what crazy glue. But they have been on for like three days, so I'm really, really happy with them. They've actually been in my nail collection for like two years, so that's how late I am with them. I decided to go buy me another pair. You know, when you take those trips to Walgreens and you look at stuff that you don't need, you end up purchasing them. These are super duper cute, girl, all right? You know, if you want to go get a pair from Walgreens 2, girl, then go ahead, because they was only $10. The actual camera does not really do them justice because they're actually really, really pretty. Maybe I can find, like, a picture to instill in it, but they're actually really cute. They're the coffin-shaped nails. There was $9.99. $9.99, girl, you cannot beat that. Check out Walgreens. This is by Kiss. I mean, you can... And I'm probably on Amazon too. So today's video is going to be super duper fun. At least I'm hoping it is because girl, a girl has been overexcited. Her given hair. Her given hair caters to nothing but textured hair. So you guys, if you love textured hair, got textured hair, girl, go ahead and check them out. This one right here is actually super duper pretty. She's somewhat almost close enough to my own hair texture so i'm really excited about this one and i'm gonna just show you instead of rambling on and talking so much i'm gonna just show you guys real quick how your package is gonna come and how your wig is gonna look straight out the box when you receive your wig from her given hair you will receive it in their black standard box which will say her given hair You'll also receive the amenities such as a black elastic band, which you can sew into the unit if you wish to. Along with that, some wig combs. Along with that as well, some wig clips. Your order will also come with one of their sleeves, which will state the order number, the product type, the hair texture, the color, and the cap size. As you guys see, mine is a 3B to 3C, and this is a curly texture. You'll also receive one of their wig instructional books, which will give you details on how to wash the wig, how to install it, how to maintain it, along with that, some of their wig pictures. The unit that I received here is called No Need to Stare, and she is a curly wig hair texture in the curl pattern of 3B and 3C. She is a 13 by six lace front, and this is virgin human hair. As you guys notice, the curls are really defined and actually beautiful. From the root to the tip, the hair has curls. Her given hair caters to nothing but textured, curly styles and textured hair, so you'll definitely wanna check them out. You'll also receive a pre-sewn elastic band in your wig cap, so you don't really need to do anything. The unit did come pre-bleached, so the entire cap is deep bleached. Along with that, it also has a pre-plucked hairline. As you guys can see by the knots, they're really good. The lace is Swiss lace. It's very transparent. It kind of like melts in my skin. And you'll also want to check out her given hair between February 10th and the 15th of February as you can receive up to $60 off as they are having their Valentine's Day sale. So make sure you check them out. I also wanted to point out that they have an amazing box. It does slide open just like a dresser drawer and you can store your wig in here and also store other items. Because you will need to co-wash the unit when you get her. Wash it with some conditioner and allow it to air dry so that way you can see the natural curl pattern. I like the fact that you don't have to do anything once you get her but wash her, you know what I'm saying? And once I let her air dry, this is how she turned out. Super 
soft, very fluffy, and I did use some of the Carol's Daughter hair milk leave-in conditioner in her when I rinsed the conditioner out. Let's get this tutorial popping. The unit does come with a sewn-in elastic band. I like the fact that you can adjust the straps. I'm gonna just put my hooks tight. And it also has the normal standard combs in it, so it's a 13 by six. And there's also a comb in the nape of the unit, 3B and 3C hair texture. And I do wear a medium-sized cap. It's a beginner friendly wig, which means you don't have to do anything but wash it. I don't have to do anything, girl, I like when I'm not too much. But let's just get into this real quick. Okay, you guys, so her given hair, this actually is a beautiful unit. And I'm so excited to put this on because it looks really, really natural. I love the curl pattern of it, especially from the root to the tip, from the rooter to the tuta, you have a curl pattern, which is really great because a lot of websites, they really don't start at the root. So the first thing you want to do is get your scissors or your actual eyebrow trimmers or blade or however you're going to cut this unit and you want to make sure that you cut the lace. I'm just going to cut in kind of like grooves. I'm not going to cut straight across because you really don't want to. So I'm just going to cut kind of like in a zigzag motion, trying to get a little grooves there. But the lace is really transparent. It's Swiss lace. It melts right into your hairline. It's very undetectable, damn near invisible. And if I forgot to mention, it does come pre-bleached for you so you don't have to do any work. And also it has a natural hairline, so that is also pre-plucked. So I'm just going to go ahead and make me some sideburn hairs. But prior to that, I decided to just make sure that the wig cap fit properly. Sometimes you will need to customize it by cutting off a little bit of excess lace because sometimes the ear tabs will fall over your ears as you see right here. So I'm just going to part the wig kind of like over my ear, directly above my ear. And I'm gonna part that kind of like a curved shape because it doesn't need to go straight across the part. It needs to go curved because your ear is curved shaped. So once you have that cut, I'm then gonna go ahead and make me some sideburn hairs. And maybe just a couple of little wispy hairs. You don't really need none, but this is optional. I'm just going to take my rat tail cone and I'm just going to part it right at the beginning of my hairline and I'm going to pull off that extra hair because this is what I'm going to use to make my wispy hairs. I do apologize for the color change because the sun had kind of went behind a cloud so you know I apologize about that. But I'm taking my eyebrow trimmer and I'm just going to cut the hairs really short because I don't really want long wispy hairs or long sideburn hairs. You can either do this with a comb, excuse me, with a blade, a a brow trimmer or a pair of scissors whatever you feel more comfortable and then I'm just going to take my Dollar Tree salon selective styling mousse and I'm just going to sculpt into my baby hairs I prefer the Dollar Tree brand just because it doesn't allow your lace to lift up I have noticed in the past that using the got to be styling mousse just certain ones that sometimes my lace will lift up as I'm kind of like sculpting so it's really important to find the perfect mousse that will not allow that to happen and this one right here is actually amazing especially for a dollar it doesn't lift your wig up it doesn't remove it and it does style your baby hairs or your vibrant hairs as you guys can see from that demonstration so then I'm just gonna take the bed head hairspray and I'm gonna spray it on the back of my toothbrush and just sculpt some of those flyaways or some of those baby hairs not flyaways but wispy hairs I didn't really want to adhere the wig down too much because I did have another video to do. So I just wanted to kind of like sculpt the baby hairs. And for this particular lace by Her Given Hair, you really don't need to basically customize it too, too much. Basically, you don't need to tack it down too much. Now, my Got To Be Glam Force Gel is in a jar only because when it comes out the tube, it's kind of runny and it takes a little bit longer to dry fast and a little bit longer to hold. So putting it in a jar will oxidize it and once you're ready to use it, it's thicker and it dries much faster. And you just wanna go ahead and repeat those same steps on the opposite side. As you guys see, I did take some of my mousse and then I did brush it into the roots of my hair just to push it back and to give it like a curl. Um, a curl. And then just to dry the mousse and that gel, or not the gel, but the hairspray, I'm just going to go ahead and just use my blow dryer on a cool temperature. But I'm just using the blow dryer to define the curls and just hold them down because they were a little wet from the mousse. And she is all ready to be styled. 
The hair is actually really pretty. I like the fact that it's bouncy and it's not stiff. I have plenty of kinky curly lace wigs and a lot of times I don't wear them for too long because they seem to get really stiff like they don't have movement or they seem to tangle a little bit different. I like them when they're a little bit more bouncy and you can maintain them. Now the one thing I like about using the hairspray to just put on a wig or just hold it down certain spaces, it's an easy cleanup and that is what I really appreciate. So I'm gonna take my Carol's Daughter Hair Milk, which is the original leave-in moisturizer, and I did put a little bit of that in my spray bottle just to use it when I'm wetting the hair. You definitely don't wanna spray just plain water because it will dry the curls out and you'll be really upset about that. So make sure you put some type of conditioner in it. I prefer the Carol's Daughter because it gives it a lot of moisture. actually so bouncy and loose like when I say loose like you know how you get some type some hair textures that are really textured and it's a little bit stiff like kinky curly hair it's really stiff this is actually very bouncy and it's curly all the way to the root which is fabulous okay so this I actually do like I'm not sure if it's gonna tangle in the nape area but she's still 16 inches of loveliness I don't really do a lot of kinky curly textured hair curly hair because sometimes it just swells up on me but this one is really nice it's a 3b to 3c texture I will be honest to say it's a little bit more textured than my own natural hair but that's okay because it's as close as possible as it can get which is the plus plus girl listen the lace is so transparent it's the Swiss transparent lace like seriously you guys like this lace is like where's that where's that boo I always co-wash my curly unit look she's so full and just the curls are so pretty I'll wash them because the curl texture the curl pattern is totally different the only thing that I was not feeling is these daggone nails gave me a little bit of struggle you know I'm so used to using just my little bare nubs I was ready to pop them off but I said no girl you could just you gotta look cute you gotta look cute from the beginning to the end yes her giving hair you guys what do you think about her I like her a lot. She's very, very manageable. Like, I don't see her, like, over-swelling. I don't see her, like, you know what I'm saying, tangling as bad. You know, they all tangle. You don't even need any baby hairs or wispy hairs if you don't want to because the lace is amazing. I know some people may say, well, it's a little bit out of my budget. Save up. I'm telling you. It's income tax season. Get you a nice wig. Just at least one. I'm just saying, you know. Don't go broke on account of me, but I'm just saying. You know, I didn't really adhere the wig. I just spritzed it on the edges where the sideburn hairs were. And that was enough for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just enough for me. I don't need to apply it because the lace is really that good. And also, because it's curly, you can camouflage so much. Come on, camera. Focus on me. Focus on me, please. Focus on me, camera, not the mannequins. I don't think they're going to be in my next video. I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Post the information below. Let me know. I got to go. Seriously, camera? Seriously. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in a soon-to-come video. You guys are definitely not going to be in my next video. No.